We're talking about dart frogs again. I don't know if you guys have been able to tell, but I I have become a little bit obsessed with my dart frogs. I love them. They are incredible. You know, before I got dart frogs, I knew I wanted dart frogs, but I had no idea I was going to enjoy them as much as I do. I know, I know that you're not supposed to pick favorites when it comes to your pets, and on a personal level, I don't have any favorites. But I have really, really, really been enjoying my dart frogs. They are definitely one of my, my top, my top pets, you know? I really like them. So with that said, I am very excited to be back here today with a really exciting dart frog update. To just get to the point, my dart frogs won't stop reading. They are having so many babies, just, just so many babies. And it's really exciting. I, I'm gonna have a dart frog army. Just an army of dart frogs. I don't know if you can tell that I did not script this video or plan this video at all, and I'm just excited. Anyways, let's um move on from whatever this is and start talking about my dart frogs. All right, so of course over here we have my dart frog enclosure. This is the 18 by 18 by 18 Exoterra Frogs & Co. dart frog enclosure. I've been using it for a few months now, and I am I'm really enjoying it. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the frogs inside. Of course, right as I um, come up here to start filming, both of my frogs hop into the very, very back corner that is super dark and it doesn't want to focus. Anyways, both of my frogs are back there, so that is, that's wonderful. Oh, 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 what's this? We see one? You see that a little bit? You see that frog? All right, I figured that food might hopefully help entice the frogs to come out, so... There we go, flies have been added. There we go, there we go, there's the frogs. So, I am very excited to let you know that I finally have a name for my dart frogs and, you know, you guys gave me some good suggestions. I had some really, really beautiful names, you know, some really awesome sounding names and I am very happy to report that I decided to name them Bob and Linda. So for any um, Bob's Burgers fans out there, I'm sure you, you get the reference, but to everyone else, they're, they're just Bob and Linda. So here's, here's them, here's Bob and Linda, my frog. So anyways, I have had Bob and Linda since August now and they have been doing so well for me and they have been just been doing phenomenal in this enclosure. One of the reasons I know that they have been doing so well and I know that they have been enjoying this enclosure is because they do not stop breeding. I don't know how well you can see it, but this leaf that Linda is currently standing on has three dart frog eggs on it. We're gonna take a closer look at those soon, but yeah, there's three dart frog eggs in there that have just been laid, and this is now their fourth clutch that they have laid for me. I have gotten four clutches of eggs from them in the few months that I own them, and all of them have been since October. I. I'm just, like I said earlier, I'm gonna have an army of dart frogs. So not only have my frogs been doing really well, but this enclosure has just been doing fantastic. I mean, I'm sure you can just tell by looking, but all of the plants have been doing so well. I like literally have not had a plant that hasn't done well in this enclosure. I was really unsure about this Monstera dubia for a while because it had some issues, but just recently it started growing again and now it's growing so fast. But let's let's move on from the plants and uh, let's take a look at Bob and Linda's children. Okay, so over here I have all of my dart frog tadpoles so far. Now, I do also want to say that today is cleaning day, which is why I have them all out on my desk here, so please forgive the dirtiness. But in this container right here, we have one tadpole who I have decided to name Teddy. And this is from Bob and Linda's very first batch of eggs. Now, their very first batch of eggs that they laid for me were four eggs total, but unfortunately, where it was my first clutch of them and I didn't really have experience, I only had one of the tadpoles to survive to this point. I have now learned that rather than raising all the tadpoles in one cup, it is much better to raise them separately. So that is my plan going forward. But over here, like I said, we have Teddy. So this tadpole here has already started growing legs. You can't really see it. I mean, you kind of can. They're super tiny there. But yeah, so this one here has started growing back legs and, you know, is significantly bigger than all of the other tadpoles. So over in this container here, we have three more tadpoles that were hatched about a month later 
you can see the size difference. And now these three here are still living together, but I'm actually going to be separating them today. My plan was to raise them together for the first little bit, and then once they started getting bigger, separate them into their own cups. So very soon, these cups are going to be getting cleaned, and these tadpoles over here are going to be getting separated. And now you can see that I actually have one more cup over here, and now this one, I mean, like technically, yes, it does have tadpoles in it, but they're not hatched yet, so this container here just has a couple eggs in it. So these tadpoles are definitely getting pretty close to hatching, but they're still in the egg, probably will be for at least a few more days, but yeah, there's four more eggs over here that will definitely be hatching soon, and as you can see, my frog army is commencing, and I am very excited. Who doesn't want an army of dart frogs? And then, yeah, as I uh, mentioned earlier, there is this leaf right here that has three more dart frog eggs on here. So I actually found these in here last night, but they had literally just been laid. So I decided to leave them in the enclosure overnight to make sure that Bob has a chance to fertilize them before I remove them. And with that said, I'm actually going to leave them in just for a little bit longer. I'll probably give them like a full 20 24 hours before I remove them, but yeah, more, more frogs. Just, I don't know what else to say. Just, just more frogs. That's all I, the only words I have. So as much as I would love to just have a massive army of frogs, unfortunately it is not realistic for me to just have hundreds of frogs as much as I wish it was, as much as I wish that was my reality. It's not. So, I'm sure some people may be wondering what I plan on doing with the babies. And now, I do actually plan on keeping a few of them, just a couple, but for the most part, I will be selling a lot of Bob and Linda's babies once they have grown into frogs. So if you're in Canada and you're looking for some blue dart frogs in the future, um, hit me up, you know? But yeah, I guess that's not really the main point of the video. I just wanted to kind of throw that out there because I made a TikTok about my dart frogs and so many people asked what I was gonna do with the babies. So I just I wanted to put that out there. Would love a frog army, but unfortunately that's not realistic. Um, But yeah, as you can see, Bob and Linda have been doing super well for me and it makes me really happy. I was super nervous to get dart frogs, I can't lie. Before I got dart frogs, I was just, I don't know, I was really nervous because they were so much different than anything else I've kept before. You know, I mostly keep lizards and snakes and I do keep a few amphibians, but nothing like dart frogs. They were just like, it was this whole new world that I was entering and I was really nervous about it, but I have really, really, really been enjoying it and I've had a lot of success. So I'm I'm feeling really good about it. I'm feeling really good about my dart frog abilities. I, I can say for certain that in the future when and the time is right, I will absolutely be getting more dart frogs because like I mentioned earlier, I'm just a little bit obsessed. So I don't really have anything else to say, honestly. I just wanted to make this video to give you guys a quick update on Bob and Linda and their never ending supply of children. I, I don't know, there's just a lot of them. So yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed getting an update on Bob and Linda. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing the tadpole and the eggs. If you did, make sure that you stick around because like I said, I'm a little bit obsessed with dart frogs and I will certainly be posting more dart frog content. Yeah, frogs, they're cool. With all that said, I am just going to go ahead and end the video now. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. Before I um, continue on, I do want to remind you all that my virtual zoo and animal education center beyond the wild is it exists now, it's open, it's live, the website is there, you can check it out in the description. Like I said, it is a whole virtual zoo, there's memberships, there's a pet corner, blogs, all sorts of fun things, and also check out my shop. You can buy merch now, you can buy designs with my animals on them, and they are really, really awesome, so make sure you check that out. While you're at it, also be sure to check out all of my social media, it will all be em it is all just MSM99 and all of that information will be down in the description below. You know, my website, social media, you can find it all down there. With all that said, I'm gonna wrap this up now. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you do all that fun stuff. Give it a like, make sure you subscribe and whatever else, I don't know. Anyways, 
Thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video.